This is officially the world's fastest charging battery by quite some margin. And we will see this battery go into new electric cars over the next six months. And uh, this is going to blow people's minds. I mean, the charging speed here is absolutely mental. The biggest battery company in the world, CATL, they have just unveiled, I believe, the most technologically advanced battery that mankind has ever seen, which is insane considering the batteries that have been coming out of China over the last 12 months just keep getting better and better and better. But now CATL has one-upped absolutely everything. This new battery can charge in five minutes but it can add 550 kilometers of range in five minutes and it's capable of charging at speeds of 1,300 kilowatts. 1,300 kilowatt. My friends, I realize it sounds um, crazy. How do you get this kind of power in the first place to an actual charging station? But this is the future. The future is... It's, well, it's already here. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. Just want to big, say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Oh, guys, I really very much appreciate you and your support. CATL, obviously the world's biggest battery company uh, by a fairly wide margin over second placed BYD, had just unveiled the most advanced battery we've ever seen. The new Shenzhen battery. So the, the pre-existing Shenzhen battery was already pretty damn amazing. It uses lithium iron phosphate chemistry and it was considered by many people to be the most technologically advanced battery when it hit the market about 18 months ago. But now, well, now the company have they've innovated pretty at a pretty impressive pace. They don't slow down. They don't just stop and go, well, I've got a great battery. We'll, we'll stop there. They actually have taken it to an entirely different level. The Shenzhen 2 this new battery, right, it's capable of charging at power exceeding 1.3 megawatts, which is what the, the Tesla Semi can theoretically charge at. But, I mean, they're saying exceeding 1.3 megawatts, so over 1,300 kilowatt charging speeds. In addition to that, it's got a fairly high energy density, so it's capable, if you were to use this battery in your EV, CATL says, you could get around 800 kilometers of range. That's about 500 miles. So it's pretty much the perfect combination. Now, there's been one, one drawback to lithium ion phosphate batteries and CATL have solved that. I'll explain what that is in a moment, though. In practical terms, says can't use China. This means you can add 2.5 kilometers of range per second. 2.5 kilometers of range per second to your electric car, meaning... You could add 520 kilometers or 323 miles of range in five minutes if you could find a charger that can charge at those kinds of speeds. Now, here's where things get kind of cool as well. Lithium ion phosphate batteries technically, traditionally, haven't been great in cold temperatures, like, I mean, really, really cold temperatures. And even Elon Musk himself has said, you know, that's a drawback to LFP batteries, but it's not anymore. In fact, some of the newer LFP batteries we've seen coming out of China, including from BYD, from Geely, and even from CHL themselves, show that cold weather is no longer an issue. If anything, it's actually um, uh, one of the strengths of LFP batteries. The new Shenzhen battery, CHL says that at minus 10 degrees Celsius, which is 14 degrees Fahrenheit, it can still charge from 5% to 80% in 15 minutes. So 5% to 80% in 15 minutes is, that's staggering charge, charging speed, especially at minus 10 degrees Celsius. Even when fully depleted, as in there's no charge left in the battery, the battery can deliver 830 kilowatt of output power. Or now obviously that's incorrect. So clearly when the battery only has a very small amount of actual charge left in it, it can still deliver 830 kilowatt, which is 1,113 horsepower of output power. Well, what this means is the battery itself won't be a drawback to if you want to have a super fast car, right? So let's say you guys, I don't know if you've seen my new video about the new hub motors, potentially capable of about 700 kilowatt for each wheel. 
if you did put those on your car, they're very lightweight, they're about 50 kilograms each. You're looking at 200 kilograms and potentially 2,800 kilowatt of power. So the big drawback with you know battery with this kind of power is the batteries need to be able to send that ma- that amount of power out. So some of these modern batteries are capable of sending out huge amounts of power, and this does affect cars. You can see how the Chinese version of the Tesla Model Three is a bit slower than the American version of the Tesla Model Three, and that's down to the batteries that are being used. So this is a huge improvement. This new Shenzhen battery, it's a massive improvement over the previous generation, which was actually introduced in 2023 and was the world's first lithium ion phosphate battery capable of 4C superfast charging, meaning it is capable of adding 400 kilometers of range, which is about 250 miles in 10 minutes. So that was insane. That was at the time considered, you know, just class leading. It's not anymore though. Geely's Aegis short blade battery, that's lithium ion phosphate as well. Uh, That's capable of around potentially 900 kilowatt fast charging. Then you've got BYD's new blade battery that's capable of one megawatt charging with just 1000 kilowatt charging and of course now you've got this new battery from CATL from the Shenzhen battery version 2 capable of 1300 kilowatt charging I mean w- look where we're at today imagine where we're going to be in 10 years time from now it's so crazy what's happening here to give you some con- some context of the comparison between BYD's new 1,000 kilowatt blade battery, 1,000 kilowatt charging battery, compared to this battery, BYD's battery can add 400 kilometers of range in about five minutes, whereas this battery can add 520 kilometers of range in five minutes. And what is kind of scary about this company is that CATL have 38.2% market share worldwide, 38.2%. Even the Chinese government it says that that might be a problem. They say they have a monopoly on the global battery market. And now with batteries like this coming from the company, that it is, well, I mean, that it's not just this battery. They've got a range of class leading batteries. And every year they're just bringing out new batteries that are getting better and better and better. Speaking of new batteries that are getting better and better, CATL's new sodium ion battery is equally game changing. And I mean that sincerely, it's ridiculous. I'm doing a video on that right now. As soon as I finish this video, guys, we're gonna pump that out because you need to know about this new sodium ion battery. It will absolutely change the world. Remember, lithium is a finite resource. Uh, So is nickel, so is cobalt. Fortunately, neither of these batteries, the Shenzhen battery or the Naxtra sodium ion battery from CATL use any, basically use any nickel or any cobalt. And of course, the new sodium battery uses no no lithium as well. Here's the thing. Sodium batteries, big problem, right? Energy density is terrible. It's, well, it was, not anymore. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.